Hello, I'm James Michael Tyler. Welcome to Book Look. Today, our field correspondent, Christina Millman, is in London with wine expert Matt Skinner to talk about his user-friendly wine guide, Thirsty Work. Christina, take it away. So, Matt, how does your approach differ from everybody else who's writing wine books today? I wanted to write a book that was a nuts and bolts introduction to wine, but very much based on my experiences as a young person coming through the industry. Tell me, what's the most important factor when you're choosing a wine? You have to know the reputation of the producer. At the end of the day, there are so many different producers from so many different regions, and they all have different levels of integrity like in any industry. Can you give us some tips on how to taste wine? In the book, I talk about the Fab Five, and they're the most important five kind of points to remember when you're tasting wine. The first three are really straightforward, eyes, nose, mouth. You look at wine, but there's not a lot you can tell from actually looking at wines because white wines tend to get darker with age and red wines tend to get a little bit lighter with age. But some grape varieties just tend to be naturally light, like Pinot. Smell is the most important thing. Give the glass a good bit of a smell. Basically, when you're doing that, it's like turning up the volume. You can hear things sort of more clearly. But you've got this amazing tool between your eyes called your olfactory nerve, and that smells you know, tens of thousands of different smells over the course of your lifetime. Then have a taste. When you have a taste, your, your sense of taste is just a dumbed-down version of your sense of smell. But one advantage that your mouth has over your nose is the fact that it can actually feel things. So tannin, which is that sort of drying sensation in red wines, almost like a cup of black tea, the thing you're looking for is overall balance. You know, it's like when you add salt and pepper to a dish. You want to make sure that the, the wine kind of like feels right. You know, it's not too fruity, it's not too oaky. The other two are ears and attitude, and I sort of encourage the students to listen to what other people are saying around them about the wine. Keep a really open mind, stay really positive about it, and, uh, and always try new things. And what about price? How important is price? Are you really, do you think, getting a better bottle of wine if you pay more? Like anything, you get what you pay for. There are always exceptions, though. But when you get down to the sort of bottom rung um, and entry level, you're really playing Russian roulette, and it becomes more and more important to actually know the reputation of the producer. Another one of the debates that's raging in the wine world, screw top versus cork. The screw caps are, are fantastic, you know. Uh, basically, they exist because... It's estimated that around 7% of all wine bottled under a cork is affected by a bacteria called TCA. That comes out of the ground, goes into the bark when they're actually harvesting the cork off the trees. And it's not until they actually put it under pressure in the bottle in the form of a cork that it releases this bacteria into the wine, stripping the wine of all of its aroma and flavour. What a screw cap will do, as romantic as they may not be, is guarantee that you're going to get the wine as the winemaker intended you to taste it. So how did you learn so much about wine? I was working in a wine shop in Australia and before too long my boss sort of said, you know, basically if you want to keep your job, you need to learn something about what you're selling because at the moment you know nothing and you're using my wine shop as a place to read surfing magazines, ring your friends, eat pizza, do anything but work. And as he sort of opened bottles for me to taste, I sort of fell in love with it. It was strange. I mean, I was 18 and uh, none of my friends obviously were into wine. I started having better relationships with their parents than I did them. Matt, thank you so much for joining us today and good luck with the book. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you for having me. Thank you. See you again. Christina and Matt, thanks for all those great wine tips. The book is Thirsty Work by Matt Skinner. This book will arm you with wine confidence, knowledge, and enthusiasm. So pick up your copy today and read the book. Until next time, I'm James Michael Tyler. Goodbye. My most favorite and my most treasured possession in my cellar is a bottle of um, Sassicaia, which is an Italian super star red wine. I've got one in particular that was signed by um, Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin. I saw that he was coming. There can't be too many Jimmy Pages in the world. So I took the person that was working off the roster, put myself on, <laughs> and actually just managed to collar him on the way out. And he uh, very kindly signed the bottle of, uh, of Sassicaia for me. So I've got to Matt, rock on, love Jimmy Page. So that's kind of like, oh, wow. that's the be all and end all for me.